Hello guys, it's Marco Schwartz here and in this video I will show you how to completely control an Arduino MJR1000 board using Arrest. So we are going to see how to control the board which is really nice because it has a Wi-Fi on board and also a powerful processor. So it's just perfect for home automation applications, robots and many more applications. But we are going to see how to control a simple LED but also how to read data from an alert sensor. And from this, you will really be able to use ARES for all your projects using this board. So let's start. So I am first going to show you what you need to build this project. You will need, of course, an Arduino MKR1000 board, which is right here. So you can see on the board that you have this uh, chip here, you have a connector for battery, and you have a micro USB connector and of course all the usual pins that you will find on an Arduino board. So you need this. Um, to have something to control, I will use a um, simple LED and a 330 ohm resistor right here. And to have something to measure, I will use here uh, a photocell and also a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And to connect all those components, I will use a bunch of jumper wires as well as the usual breadboard. So let's now see how to actually assemble all those components. So the first step is to place my breadboard on my desk right here and to put the Arduino board on it. Just like that. Then I will take um, the photo cell and place it on the breadboard as well. And I will put that in series with the um, 10 kilo ohm resistor right here. Then I will finish to place all my components. I will place the other resistor right here and the LED. So I want to have those in series with the LED. So I will place the LED with the longest pin touching the resistor, just like that. Great, so now let's connect those components to the breadboard and the Arduino board. So first I want to have um, a common ground for all my components. So I will take this cable and place it to the blue line here. So this will be the ground. I will place all the ground as well. I need one connected to this resistor right here, just like that and another one connected to the free pin of the LED, just like this. Okay. Now I need um, to get the, the positive power supply from the Arduino board, which is here. So it's 3.3 3 volts on uh, this Arduino board, and I will connect it to uh, this pin here of the photocell. So the one which is not connected to anything yet. And finally, I, would, I want to connect um, the input and the output to the Arduino board. So for the LED, I will connect the resistor here to pin number six of the Arduino board, which is right there. Okay, and finally, I want to connect the, the common pin between the photocell and the resistor to pin A0 of the Arduino board, which is an analog pin. So this pin is right here. And I will connect it to A0, which is this pin here. And here we go. I have my Arduino board completely uh, assembled. And the last thing I have to do is to connect it to my computer. So I just take a USB cable right here and connect it to the computer. So now we are going to see how to configure and use the board with ARREST so we can control the LED and read data from the sensor. So first, let's have a look at the code. So the code is a pretty standard ARES code that you can find inside the ARES library, but I just tweaked it a little bit so we can actually read data from the, from the photo cell. So you need some libraries, the Wi-Fi 101 library, ARES library, you can get those from uh, the Arduino Library Manager, which is right here in Manage Libraries. 
Uh, also make sure that you have the board definition installed for the MKR1000 board. You can get it in here in board manager. Um, then you need to create an ARS instance right here. The only thing you have to modify is your Wi-Fi name and password. So I will put mine right here. All right. And then here we create um, a variable called light level, which will hold the light level measurements from our uh, board. Then inside the setup function, we set up this um, light level variable and expose it to the API with the name simply as light. So this will make sure that we can access, it, access this variable from the outside. Then we give a name and an ID to the board. We connect it to the Wi-Fi. This is done right here. And in the loop function, the first thing we do is to measure the light level. So using uh, this here that we just made an alert read on the pin A0. But this will be a value between 0 and 123. So what we want to do here is to convert that to a percentage. And finally, we handle any uh, connections to the board via the ARREST uh, library. So this is it for the sketch. I will now uh, compile it. I'm making sure that I have the MJR1000 selected here. And then I will upload it to the board. It's done. And now I will open the serial monitor which is right here, to see what is the IP address of the board. And this should appear right here. Here we go. So this is the IP address, and I will just uh, copy that and paste it in my favorite web browser. And let's first see if the board is answering. So I will simply paste this IP address here and press Enter. So as you can see, I get the default, default answer from the board. Uh, I have my variables here, which I have vi one variable light, which is this percentage of light, and all the information about the board. Let's now try to control the ID. So first I need to put pin number 5, which is the one the LED is connected to, to uh, an output. So for that I would simply type slash mode slash uh, 5 slash O, and this will confirm via this message that the pin D5 has been set as an output. And now we can simply type digital 5 1, which will put pin number 5 to 1, so a high state, and this should instantly uh, light up the LED, as you can see. And we also get the confirmation that pin D5 is set to, to 1. And now I will just do the same, but with a zero. And as you can see, the ID is off again. We can actually go further here and try other functions of a REST. For example, I can type um, analog 5100. And what this will do is set the pin as a, a PWM pin. So I can actually control the intensity of the LED. So to put it at half intensity, I will for the poll do, so it's from 0 to 255. So I can probably do 120. And as you can see, it will light up the LED, but less than before. I will try now with 12 for the poll. And now it's nearly off, but still a little bit on. And again, I can just do a digital 50 to set it completely off. Great. So now let's see how to control um, the board so we can read data from the photo cell. And it's very really easy. I just need to type light. And this returns the current light level, which is at 70.8%. And to really check that it's really coming from the photo cell, I will just now put my hand in front of the photo cell, just like this, and do it again. And as you can see, immediately the results uh, drop to 34 here. 
So you can of course use all the ARES functions of, on the board. This was just to illustrate the main functions, so to control uh, digital outputs and also read data from sensors. So this is already the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Of course, if you have any questions or remarks about the project you found in this video or about ARES in general, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I will always answer. Also, you can find all the information about this project, like the code, more detail about the, the schematics and how to assemble the project on the ARES website by following the link that you will find in the description of the video. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.